What's up everybody, Justin here back with a new Wednesday Night Wars video. Wednesday Night Wars, NXT versus AEW. Who won, in my opinion? Who won the night? Who was uh, the better show, in my opinion? First, I'm going to talk about the ratings uh, for last night's NXT and AEW. The ratings... I guess uh, Mike Tyson, his name on AEW did bring uh, AEW's ratings up. Did bring them up from last week. But also, NXT's ratings were also up from last week. Now, I don't care what the ratings are. I hope and wish... That both shows do really well. Hopefully sometime soon they can both get over a million viewers. But whatever. I'm telling you the ratings because it's part of. It has to. It's part of uh, the Wednesday Night Wars. So last week, again, a W at 701,000. This week, maybe Mike Tyson really helped because he's a big name. He's still a draw on a big name. I don't care if he's uh, 50 years old. He's still a big fucking name. And he's nuts and he acts, uh, he can act crazy sometimes. You don't know what the hell he's going to do. So that's probably why I'm more watched. To see what the hell Mike Tyson was going to do on AEW. So AEW. Their uh, rating was 827,000 viewers. Up. Up a lot. Up 126,000. And it was number 4. For the night on cable. Number 4. Also it was a. Uh, Came in number, oh, that's NXT. So uh, NXT was also up. They got a good rating in my opinion. 700,000 is a pretty good rating. For cable especially during uh, a lot of times where a lot of people are not paying for cable anymore. So NXT... Got 731,000 viewers. That's up a lot. It's up uh, well over 100,000 from last week. NXT came in number 24 with a point nineteen rating in the 18 to 49 demographic. I don't really know what that means. Point. 19 rating whatever so uh again aw1 in the ratings like they usually do i think nxt is only won three to four times but whatever i will tell you who i think won the wednesday night wars in a minute in a little bit i'll tell you my thoughts on which uh, show i thought was better so now I'm going to give you some of the bad, the good and the bad from both AEW and NXT last night. This is my Wednesday Night Wars for uh, May 27th, 2020. Also, I will try to always do a Wednesday Night Wars show after a pay-per-view. Either a AEW pay-per-view or after a NXT takeover, I will do a Wednesday Night Wars show. So, I'm going to talk about some of the bad, and a lot of it, all of the bad stuff on the shows, all of it was uh, in AEW. It happened on Dynamite, some of the bad. Britt Baker, her saying, I like Britt Baker, she, she's very good at cutting promos, but Britt Baker's uh, rules of being a role model, the segment went too long. It went too damn long. I was entertained for like 
the first like three minutes Brett Baker is with a uh, rebel from formerly of Impact Wrestling and rebel is uh, flipping these pages of pictures of all the AEW women and Britt Baker is talking about them. This segment went on forever. But I still like Britt Baker as a heel. She's very good on the mic. I like her uh, heel character, Dr. Britt Baker. Like, she's better than everybody. So, the segment, just being a role model, it went too long. So, that's why I say it was bad. And Tony Schiavone back and forth with uh, Britt. That was kind of awkward. Britt was staring at him like, uh, what, what the fuck, you're taking too long, hurry up. So, more bad from uh, AEW. The opening matchup, Matt Hardy and the Young Bucks, I didn't care about at all. I did not care. I'm, I will admit it, I'm not a fan of the Young Bucks. I did not care about the opening matchup. So that was bad in my opinion. It was not a great start to the show. I'm trying to think what NXT started with. NXT started very hot with a triple threat cruiserweight tournament matchup. Winner went to the finals. But AEW, the Bucks match, I did not care for. That's why I say it was bad. And then the debut of The Revival. Formerly The Revival. Now FTR and I don't care. I don't care. I get it. The Revival wanted to leave because they were unhappy. But WWE offered them a ton of fucking money to stay. A ton. They gave them a great offer. The Revival did not want to sign it. That's their right. They have that right. But how can... Uh, in the Revival, FTR, their new team name is stupid. It's stupid. It's just like a shot... In my opinion, it's just a shot at WWE for not or dropping the ball with them on the main roster creatively. They did have tag title runs. They were fucking great and treated really well in NXT and they were paid even better on the main roster. I get it. They were not happy creatively, but they were fucking treated very well. Very well. They are paid very well. Like top main event guys they were paid as. Or at least the contract they turned down was, was going to pay them like fucking main eventers. And they were not even a main event tag team in my opinion. In the WWE they were not as good as the New Day or as over. And they were not as good as the Usos. They were not as good as the bar, Cesaro and Sheamus. The revival is very good. It might seem like I'm taking shots at them for turning down WWE. I kind of am. Because they were offered so much damn money. So yeah, you weren't happy creatively, but you were offered so much damn money. And you turned it down. So uh, I hope they're happy in a W F T R. I hate the name. They're basically saying fuck the revival and fuck WWE when they treated you damn well. And their debut is kind of weak. They didn't even hit their finisher, the Shattered Machine. Why the fuck not? It was stupid. And why'd they help the Young Bucks? They should have attacked him. That would actually make me pop and mark out. But no, they didn't attack him. So FTR, I don't care that they debuted in AEW. I thought it was bad. It's good for them, but I was not entertained and I didn't like it. And I hate the FTR name. 
They will always be the revival to me, and I will keep calling them the revival because I can. If you don't like it too bad, get your own damn show and call them FTR. And I did call them FTR. I give them respect. They're a great fucking tag team. But you can't cry and bitch about how bad the WWE treated you creatively, but you were paid well. So, uh, up next, what I thought was bad. When, uh, during the Britt Baker segment, she should have just said right off and ended it. As I go back to the role being, uh, rules of being a role model segment. She should have started off just saying, should have said, I'm injured, I'm out till all out, and I'll see all you bitches at all out, talking about the other women in the division, I'll see all you bitches at all out, and I'll see you, Hikaru Shida, at all out. She should have challenged Hikaru Shida, but no, she didn't. She just said, I'll see you at all out. More bad about AEW, the last main event segment. It was not good. It was uh, cringe-worthy. Mike Tyson was not good. The role he played. It was not awful, but it was not good. Mike Tyson ripped, tried to rip his shirt off. Couldn't even rip the whole thing off. I don't know why, but couldn't even get his shirt off. And then Jericho was trying to cut a promo on him, and Mike Tyson starts flexing, making all these stupid, goofy faces at Jericho. He's going like, ah, like he's, I don't know what, he's acting like a fucking idiot. It was not good. It was not a good look for AEW and look. Mike Tyson's a big name, major name in uh, major uh, sports uh, media. He's a big name. AEW will get coverage for having Mike Tyson on Dynamite. But it wasn't good. It's not 1998 anymore. AEW, it was... It was not good stuff because this is not 1998 Raw and you were not facing off with Stone Cold Steve Austin. Look, Jericho's a fucking, he's a GOAT in the wrestling world. He is one of the GOATs. But Jericho couldn't, couldn't even save the segment with uh, Mike Tyson who's acting too damn goofy. He couldn't even rip his shirt off. The segment was a mess. I did not enjoy it. I just thought this is uh, copying 1998 January Monday Night Raw when Tyson and Austin faced off. And, Jer and uh, Jericho really tried. But he couldn't save the segment. JR even. JR even tried recreating Austin and Tyson. And he couldn't. He was like yelling... Oh my, or I don't remember what he said, but he's like yelling, Oh my God, Jericho and Tyson, Jericho and Tyson. It wasn't a good segment. It just, it wasn't. Mike Tyson was acting too damn goofy and making stupid faces. I did not like it. So more bad about A.W. Orange Cassidy. The guy was one of the final two in the Battle Royal. Why? He shouldn't have been the final two. I like Jungle Boy. But Orange Cassidy should have not been the final two. That was stupid. And that was bad. Now too, some of the good. Some of the good about AEW. Some of the good, I liked uh, Taz's promo with Brian Cage. That was good when they were staring at Moxley. More good, uh, Moxley on commentary. Jungle Boy winning the Battle Royal to get a TNT title shot. Hikaru Shida is the new AEW Women's Champion. She got a victory. That was awesome. So that's some of the good about AEW. 
So now let's get to NXT and some of the good I thought about it. I did not think NXT had any bad in the whole episode at all. I didn't. I thought everything was pretty good. And some of it, like the main event, the fight pitch, fight pit match was uh, really fucking good. Also, the opening triple threat, Drake Maverick, Kushida, Jake Atlas was really good. Really cool finish, having Drake uh, pin Jake Atlas with his shoulders down, locked in the armbar. Also, I liked uh, Drake Maverick. He's in the finals against Phantasma. And Drake tells Koshida, if I, when I win the Cruiserweight title, you will get the first title shot to Koshida. Also, what I liked about uh, the good about NXT, Mia Yim, Keith Lee. That was a uh, funny shit. Acting like the Garganos in their own house, making fun of them, ribbing them. That was awesome. Tegan Knox as the pizza girl. That was uh, hilarious. That was good. I only wish uh, Tegan Knox was a pizza girl or a pizza man coming to my house. Because all the pizza guys that. When I get pizza, they're always guys. And they don't look like Tegan Knox. So, uh, more good about NXT. Shotzi, Blackheart, Shotzi, Raquel Gonzalez had a pretty good hard-hitting matchup. Shotzi, my God, she took a nasty fall. She did like a coffin drop off the second rope to the floor. And I guess... She was doing that coffin drop so the other women could catch her. Or they were supposed to catch her. Well, the problem, when you do a coffin drop to the floor, the other women, you can't really catch somebody that good from their back. I mean, I don't know what happened. It was a, it was a nasty, bad, scary fall for Shotzi. She almost fell on her head, fell on her neck. Kind of. And it was nasty. That fall Shotzi took was uh, fucking nasty. I really hope she's okay. I think she is. Because I think NXT was taped before Monday's Raw. And she was in the crowd at Raw. So I hope uh, Shotzi gets well soon. If she is sore or injured. And uh, a lot of injuries in both AEW and NXT. Britt Baker, she will be out until, I think, August or September. She fractured, I think, her uh, fib fib fibula in her leg. Might have broke her leg. I'm not sure what that means, but she's injured. Also, I liked uh, on NXT... Dakota Kai being at ringside, getting involved, getting in Shotzi's tank. That was awesome. Then Tegan got involved. Also, more of what I was good about NXT, the women's tag match. Io, Rhea, Charlotte, and Chelsea Green. I thought that was good. Also... Uh, back to AEW in the bad stuff. Mike Tyson's acting was not good. Quit acting like a goofy, goofy joke. Just act like a badass killer Mike Tyson that you can be. I, I want the Mike Tyson that's uh, vicious and angry and not joking around and making stupid faces. I want the Mike Tyson to cut promos saying I'll eat your children. I don't have any children, but if I did, he'd probably eat my children. So, I don't know. Maybe you should have said to Jericho, I'll eat your children if you get in the ring with me. But I will say, even though if Mike Tyson in the segment with Jericho was bad, the pull-up part was bad. 
I will say Mike Tyson's a big name. Still, everybody, every sports fan, every wrestling fan knows the name Mike Tyson. Normal society that's not sports or wrestling fans probably heard of Mike Tyson. So AEW getting Mike Tyson to appear is smart. I did boost the ratings. I don't know if the ratings will go back down a little next week. Maybe, maybe not. But Mike Tyson is a big fucking name. So if he does a AEW pay-per-view against uh, Jericho at All Out, it will probably get a lot of buy rates and do very well having Mike Tyson in a match. He's never competed, ever, in a wrestling match before. I know he's a big fan, so maybe he'll agree to do it. But Tony Khan's going to have to pay a lot of money to have the Jericho, Mike Tyson uh, storyline go on until all out. You're going to have to pay Mike Tyson a lot of damn money to keep showing up to Dynamites. If they have uh, Tyson, Jericho at all out, they're going to have to pay Tyson a lot of fucking money. And I think WWF paid Tyson a lot in 98 when he was in his prime. And uh, he had a bad reputation of, I don't know, doing bad business or just being nuts. Because he is nuts. But again, good or bad, what Mike Tyson did, he does bring publicity. He does bring mainstream media to the AEW product. So that's good for AEW. But they'll probably have to pay Tyson a lot of money to stay around and do an angle and feud with uh, Jericho. Jericho just about, if he has a match with Tyson, he'll probably make it work. Because Jer Jericho can make just about any goddamn thing work in wrestling. He's a fucking GOAT. So now I'm going to say who won. Who won? Uh, before I get to who won... Between AEW and NXT, let me go over the results real fast of uh, Dynamite and NXT. I didn't talk about every match. I talked about what I thought was good and bad, but not every match. Again, the Young Bucks and Matt Hardy defeated Private Party and Joey Janela. Brian Cage defeated Lee Johnson. Hikaru Shida defeated uh, Christy James. Christy James has a good look. I thought she was very attractive. Kip Sabian and Jimmy Havoc defeated SCU to earn a tag title shot next week. I totally forgot about that. I will admit I fast forwarded through a lot of that tag match when I watched uh, Dynamite. Jungle Boy won the Battle Royal to face Cody for the TNT Championship. So that's, uh, that was AEW. Also, they had the Tyson, Jericho face to face, and Britt Baker's promo. Now, let's talk about the NXT's, uh, results. NXT, you had Drake Maverick. Koshida and uh, Jake Ellis in the tournament finals for Group A, Drake Maverick won. You would have to be living under a rock or not watch NXT if you didn't know Drake Maverick won. And he'll be taking on Phantasma for the Cruiserweight title. Poor uh, Jordan Devlin, the guy stuck in the UK. He's still the champion in my opinion, so... When he's allowed to come back or get to Florida, he can hold up the Cruiserweight title and say, I'm the true champion, and we can have champion versus champion. Johnny Gargano defeated Adrian Alanis. Raquel Gonzalez defeated uh, Shotzi Blackheart. Charlotte Flair, Chelsea Green defeated Rhea Ripley and Io Shirai. Tommaso Ciampa defeated Leon Roof. Timothy Thatcher and Matt Riddle 
in a cage fight pit fight or fight pit. Kurt Angle is a ref. Again, I loved that. That was so fucking good. It was so good. It looked and felt like a legit fight. It wasn't a wrestling match. It was a cage fight in the fight pit. It was awesome. They took the ropes down, the uh, ring posts down, they had a platform. It was awesome. It was like an updated Lions Den matchup. That Timothy Thatcher, Matt Riddle fight pit was so fucking good. If you did not watch it, I, I suggest you watch it. Find it and watch it. Timothy Thatcher, Matt Riddle have damn good chemistry in the ring together. And Timothy Thatcher got his uh, fucking teeth knocked out. Two of them were knocked out. Legit. That guy is fucking tough. But Matt Riddle is uh, fucking tough too. Especially in a cage fight. In the fight pit. Uh, Matt Riddle I believe is going to the main roster very soon. I would expect him to show up on Smackdown or Raw within like June or, Ma June or July. I think he'll show up and debut on the main roster. Matt Riddle's probably done with NXT. He's no longer a tag champion. Sadly, him and Pete Dunne, and their bromance is over because sadly, Pete Dunne is stuck. I don't know if he's in, I think he's in the UK. I thought he's living in Florida now, I don't know. I don't know what happened to Pete Dunne, but I hope he's back soon. Same with uh, Jordan Devlin and Tyler Bade, Trent Seven. I miss those guys. Walter, I miss seeing them. Because there's no NXT UK right now. It's like been shut down, basically. They keep running best of NXT UK shows. So, uh, NXT, who won between NXT AEW for May 27th? NXT wins. The episode was fucking awesome. It was very good. The fight pit cage fight matchup was very fucking good. Very strong. Very strong main event to end the show. A lot better than the Tyson Jericho stuff. So NXT wins on uh, May 27th, 2020, NXT wins. They had the better show, in my opinion. If I grade it, I would say NXT was a B plus, AEW was a C. Hope you enjoyed my Wednesday Night Wars Who Won show. Bye for now.